Well, this is a photocopy of the picture, and in these tense times, less than a month after that tragedy in Florida, you can see what the problem is. He drew pictures of guns. Tonight, that 12-year-old is speaking out only on 7 Action News with a message he hopes not only helps him, but other students. It happened at the end of the school day earlier this week at Star International Academy. Caden Wing says he started to draw this picture of guns and armed men. We haven't been told that we can't draw stuff. The next thing he knew, he was accused of threatening the school. Was it a threat against anyone? Did you want to hurt anybody? No, no, not at all. So why did he draw this picture? Caden says it's a scene from his favorite video game. It's called Battlefield 3. Right here, you have your buddy and there are all the supplies. And then this way is going to be the room where you're going to have your guns and stuff. Caden says he explained this to school leaders and was told he isn't wanted at the school anymore to go home and not come back. I say, for how long? They say, like, you have to peel it, you have to file another school. And that's not all. He and his mom say the principal of the charter school allegedly printed out the information for the public school he would be accepted at based on his address. This would send Caden, who admits he is academically struggling this year, from a charter school that is supposed to accept students, as public schools do, to a public school mid-school year. It is not the most academically or financially efficient move with your tax dollars. I just want my education back. Did the school tell the kid, you're not welcome here, go to the public school? A school spokesperson would not let us record an interview, but said the school can't take anything like this lightly. He denies Caden and his parents were told to find a new school. The good news for Caden, he will get a hearing to determine a punishment. He is not expelled. In the meantime, Caden says he wants to warn other children in these sensitive times, don't draw pictures of any weapons while you're at school. Would you ever draw that again at school? Never, ever. In the whole entire universe, never. A school spokesperson tells me that a full investigation will be done to make sure that this photo did not amount, this picture did not amount to a threat. In the meantime, a legislative expert tells me it's unlikely that an expulsion would be legal in these circumstances unless the school can show it truly believes this was a threat that puts students here at this school at risk. We'll continue to follow this and let you know what happens. Reporting live in Dearborn Heights, Kim Russell, 7 Action News. As you said, Kim, some sensitive times at school. Thank you for that live report. Meanwhile